Hello and welcome to this Buncee tutorial. My name's Gabby and today I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can create classes and share assignments with your students. So when you log into Buncee, of course you're taken to your Buncee dashboard and right at the top uh, next to the Buncee's tab is a tab called classes. So you can click that and this is where you're able to see all of your classes and create new ones as well. So to get started, let's click the plus sign to make a new class. And I'm going to make a name for this class. I can't do any special characters, so I'm just going to say Ms. Commanda, no, uh, uh, no, no period or apostrophe. So I'll just say Ms. Commanda, actually, um, and they'll know that that's uh, my teacher name. So we'll click, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. And we can add a subject. So we maybe we want to do um, reading and we can do grade. Maybe it's first grade. And we're going to click create. You don't have to do any of these, but you do have the option. So we're going to click create. And we're going to go find our class that we just made. And here it is right here. Now, of course, we're going to click on that to create our uh, student account. So of course, you'll see the class code up here at the top. Now, you can use this in a couple different ways. If you use the class code, um, if your students already have Buncee accounts, but maybe they're not in this specific class, um, they can use this class to join this class code. Or if they don't have Buncee accounts yet, um, they can sign up for Buncee using this class code, of course. Um, now, they don't have to do that. You can create their accounts for them as well. And for younger students, that's usually what we recommend. So to add students to your class, you can click the red button here, Add Students. And it's very easy to do this. If you have your students already set up in a CSV file with uh, a name, a last name, and a username, maybe you have one that you use for everything in your school or district, um, that's fine and you can import from there. But you don't have to do that. You can add your students in manually. So for example, I'm going to add in student name. I'll just do my name. We'll see if I'm in here already. Okay. And then I will create a username and we'll do one, two, there we go. Um, so in this case, it's just my first initial and last name and um, three random numbers. You can do a minimum of three characters if you want. So you could do the student's initials or something like that if you wanted to. Um, or again, if you have something that you use typically, you can use that as well. Then we can add in a password um, and maybe we wanna use one password for all of our students. To do that, we just click use one password. Uh, our password has to be a minimum of six characters. So we're just gonna type in Buncee, that's what we're gonna use. And you can see automatically that it populates in here as well. So then we're going to click the plus sign and our student has been added to the class. And it's as simple as that. And you can just repeat the process for as many students as you have in this class. I'm going to click save now. And it's going to automatically um, give me the option to download my student information so I can download that so I have it if I want to. Um, I don't actually need it. So I'm going to just X out. So now I have my student in my class, but let's say instead of having them all have um, uh, that, that password um, that they have to type in, we do have the option to create a symbol login or a picture password for them. So what I'm going to do to make it for everyone in my class, of course, I do only have the one student, but if you have, of course, multiple students in your class, this makes it very easy to do. You can click the uh, little square right here and this will select all of your students. And then you can click on change password. Next, you can click on enable simple login and this gives you the option to pick two images. So we're gonna click change password images. And now I can pick two pictures. So when my students log in, they will put their username and then they will select two pictures. So maybe I wanna do butterfly fox and then I can click save. And now this is my picture password for my students. So then I can click update and now if I click on edit under my student, I can see, of course, their name, their username, and I can see their simple login password. So it's as simple and easy as that. So now we have our students set up and um, maybe we want to create some assignments for them. So there's a couple different ways that you can do this, but um, here's one way. So a really great way to uh, check out assignments and lessons for your students is to go to Buncee Ideas Lab. So you'll see this blue button here at the top and you can click that to open Ideas Lab. Now Ideas Lab is full of different lessons, activities, um, all sorts of different materials created by educators from all over the globe. Some are from the Buncee team. There are tons of different kinds of materials uh, here and I definitely recommend checking out Ideas Lab. 
You can search for an idea here at the top. Let's say you wanted to search for a math idea, you could do that um, and see tons of different math ideas to get started. You can also filter by topic area uh, and grade level as well. So let's say you wanted to do, um, maybe you wanted to do English specifically because this is our, our reading group and you could do grade level as well. So you could do elementary school and find tons of things here. So let's say for example, we wanted to do this one. Um, this is a remote learning reading journal. Um, so here we can see an example. We can see a description of what the idea is, um, which tells you as a teacher what to do and um, tells the students what they need to do. It's pretty straightforward. We can see the completed example here. So we can see, okay, here's some detailed directions and we can see uh, what the student has done. They have included the title, the author, the date that they finished it, and they included a little text summary. Of course, you could have your students use video or audio or even stickers. Um, and then, of course, they've recreated a scene from the book. They labeled it what it is and what's happening, and they recreated a little scene from the book. So let's say you wanted to create this. You could click Create This, and this one will guide you to a template that will help you and your students, of course, to create your own version of this. So it's copied. You have your own copy of this. You can do whatever you want with it. It's yours. Um, and now you can either close it out, you can view it, or you can edit it. Let's click Edit. So now it's ours, we can do whatever we want with it. So we're gonna maybe change the title. So we'll just call it, maybe we just wanna call it reading journal in this case. Um, and here we can see, of course, the student can put in their own name. We can see directions. Um, we can see, of course, the little uh, uh, template for where they're gonna put the title and the summary. Um, if we want to, we can add more pages um, if, we, if we really want to. Um, we can change the directions. Maybe we want them to use um, video specifically to record a summary. Um, so whatever you want to do, you can change this however you want to. And then once you have it the way you like it, you can share it with your students and they'll be able to copy it and edit it. So what we're going to do is click on the share button up here at the top. We're now going to, uh, this is something we want our students to be able to copy. So we're gonna make this Buncee copyable. So that way they'll be able to copy this Buncee and edit it without, um, of course, altering your original Buncee. So now we have some different options. Um, under settings, we can leave it on anyone with a link. It means anyone with a link to this Buncee can view this Buncee. So just be aware of that. Um, and that allows us to share it in whatever way uh, we need to. So we'll, we're gonna come back to this in just a moment. Um, a very easy thing to do to share with your students is to click share with Buncee users. Now you have the option to share with other Buncee users. If you click that, I'll talk about this really briefly. If you click here, you're able to share with a colleague. For example, if you, uh, another teacher in your school has Buncee, for example, you're able to share with them in this manner. Um, now if you but if one or both of you has Buncee for schools and districts, just be aware that Buncee for schools and districts users, um, they can share with other Buncee users within their school domain, uh, but not necessarily outside of it. If you do want to share with someone outside of your school domain, you can share via a link or via email or in another manner, but just not with this particular uh, with this particular avenue. If you do want to share with uh, another colleague that does have a Buncee account, um, you can do it this way. You can put in their username or their email. But let's take a look at sharing with our students directly. We're going to click on from your classes. And here we're able to select students to share with. So in this case, uh, we're going to find our class. Uh, we only have the one student in it, but of course we would have a student, uh, a class <clears throat> full of students, of course. Uh, so we're just gonna select our students and click share. Now our students will be able to see this when they log into Buncee. They can go into, of course, their Buncee dashboard and they're going to click on shared with me and they will see it right here at the top. They'll see the Buncee here. They can click open and they can copy it if it's copyable, which of course it is in this case. Uh, now, because we have left our settings on anyone with a link, we can still share this Buncee however we need to. And um, whoever has access to that link will be able to view it. If we want to though, we can also click on specific Buncee users. And this will enable us to share directly with our classes uh, in the same manner. So we actually don't need to reshare it, but we can just go ahead and select our class. Um, if we wanted to share in this manner, 
we can share with our students and only they would see it in there shared with me. So there's tons of options for sharing your buncees, sharing with your students and really controlling the level of privacy that you want to have. So there's a lot of different options. And again, this is one way um, or a couple different ways that you can share your buncee with your students. There are other ways and we highly recommend just uh, seeing what works best for you and what works for you and your unique needs. I hope this was helpful. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.